The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to conduct a performance evaluation of an open bow catamaran with outboard power and plenty of room to bring a crowd along with us. It's the Aquila 36, the smallest of the brand's lineup, but impressive nonetheless. Let's start with her operational features. At the bow, there's a chain locker and a hatch over the elevated windlass that leads out to a recessed anchor roller just ahead. A chain stopper is provided, and alongside is a 10-inch cleat. At the forward bulkhead is a freshwater washdown with the valve to the side. A remote control is provided, and it stores alongside. As with the stern, the deck is angled towards drains that channel water overboard. The helm features a glass bridge concept with twin 16-inch displays flanking a compass over a mercury vessel view display, all mounted to a dark acrylic panel. Below into port are push-button switches that light when activated, and a single switch powers up this panel and makes for easy one-touch shutdowns. The premium steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. To the right are the automatic trim tab panel, Mercury's digital throttle and shift binnacle, and an open space that can house the joystick piloting for outboards control, making it convenient for aft-facing docking situations. The double-wide seats continue with the upscale upholstery, and there are individual flip-up bolsters. As with the port side, a flip-out footrest would be nice. Around the side is storage that utilizes a drawer to take full advantage of the compartment's depth. The Aquila 36 is powered by a pair of Mercury 300 horsepower Verados, and notice how the engines are mounted at an angle to provide a bit more thrust to the torque and give the 36 a little more efficiency. Also at the boarding gate, there's the connectivity for the shore power. In the deck are two hatches, which starts to show the mirroring qualities typical of a catamaran. Inside are the independent aluminum fuel tanks feeding the independent propulsion systems, the white freshwater tank, and just ahead is the blackwater tank, all repeated to the hull on the opposite side, which also includes the Fisher Panda generator. And we're not only seeing how Aquila is big on labeling, but big on systems access, two features that bode well for an owner-operated boat. Now let's take a look at the numbers. The Aquila 36 has a length overall of 36 feet, a beam of 14 feet 7 inches, and a draft of 2 feet. With an empty weight of 16,138 pounds, 38% fuel, and four people on board, we estimated our test weight at 17,738 pounds. Out on the water, this boat just continued to impress. The model we tested had a pair of 350 horsepower Mercury Verados turning 15 by 15 three-bladed inertia props. And spun up to 5,800 RPM, they produced our top speed of 40.1 miles per hour. Best economic cruise was reached at 3,500 RPM, where the 36 ran 17.7 miles per hour. At that speed, the 15.2 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 1.2 miles per gallon and a range of 374 miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 356 gallon total fuel capacity. The 36 is a level running boat. She comes up on plane level and turns level. With that level turning, the more land-based guests will feel more comfortable and seasoned boaters will get used to it after roughly five minutes. Then it becomes natural. And there's a lot to be said for a boat that maintains a stable platform. Once on plane, just add a couple of shots of up trim to orient the props with the running angle. Her attitude won't change, but you'll move the props from traction to cruising angle. While cats are well known for good handling characteristics in foul seas, we of course had flat con conditions on test day but crossing back and forth across the camera boat's wake was rather telling. Her twin hulls showed a clean slice through the waves with no spray, no slap, no nothing, pretty much as expected. We had just a slight pitch change with buoyancy being what it is, but other than that, it was a rock solid feel. Even if we took the wake on the side, she just sent the spray well away from the boat, keeping the ride and the windshield dry. She's also a nimble boat, which will serve her well when it's time to take the family tubing. Drop the speed to about half, and she turns in a tight radius. Overall, it was hard not to be impressed with the Aquila 36. She's an easy to handle boat with a dry ride and unassuming handling characteristics. Of course, she's got outstanding comfort levels and a boatload of innovative features, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our performance evaluation of the Aquila 36. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.